Dear viewers, welcome to the podcast of the day. Today we have come up with a new and relevant topic pertinent for promoting sustainable agriculture in India. Yes, you guessed it, biofertilizers. To help us dive deeper into this topic, we have with us Dr. Christy B. K. Sangma, scientist, soil science from ICRRC NEH Umiyam. Hello ma'am, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me to this podcast. It's my privilege to be a part of this podcast for empowering the farmers. Wonderful to have you with us, ma'am. Ma'am, as an opening note, biofertilizers sound promising, but could you help our viewers understand what exactly they are? After all, there is so much in the market these days. It's so confusing. Okay. Now, biofertilizers are usually these are carrier-based microbial inoculants, which contain beneficial effective and efficient microorganisms okay for enhancing the soil fertility through the nitrogen fixation or through mineralization of phosphorus or potassium or decomposition of organic waste or by release of plant growth promoting substances okay these are like uh, artificially multiplied in the uh, laboratories in order to enhance soil fertility and for increasing the crop productivity. Oh, that's really fascinating. So these tiny microbes are like nature's hidden helpers silently boosting our crops. But ma'am, why are fertilizers getting so much attention? Why, what is so special about them? Okay, these biofertilizers are recently gaining momentum uh, because of the increasing emphasis on maintaining and improving soil fertility without the use of chemical fertilizers. Now, these are available at low cost and affordable to the farmers also. Because of that, it's gaining momentum recently. I see. Affordable, eco-friendly and good for soil health. Sounds like a perfect recipe for sustainable farming. Ma'am, our farmers often ask, are there any other type of biofertilizers they can use? Yeah, there are different types of biofertilizers available in the market based on their nature and functions. Uh, we have three living biofertilizers. This is Azotobacter species. We have symbiotic biofertilizers. Those are rhizobium species and the Frankia species. We have associative symbiotic, that is azospirulum species then pea solubilizing we are having bacteria and even the fungi uh, fungi also then pea mobilizing we have an endomycorrhiza and ectomycorrhiza mm. then biofertilizers for micronutrients are uh, there are different types available in the market and common one is like zinc mm. solubilizers we are having that's quite a list and I love how different types plays a unique role, kind of like different team members working together for the same goal. Ma'am, are there any other type of fertilizers besides the ones that you have discussed now? Yes, uh, we have a uh, different type of biofertilizer. It's also available. There is microbial consortium. Yes. Now, these are like consortium of microorganisms. It contains variety of bacteria and fungi mm -hmm. in a single biofertilizer itself only and it will have the multiple mm. benefits oh wow so it's like a powerful combo pack microbes teaming up for extra efficiency now let's talk about something practical and in what forms are these biofertilizers come in solid liquid or in any other form now uh, biofertilizers are available in two forms that is solid biofertilizers in solid biofertilizers the carrier material use is a uh, is in the solid form and the shelf life is for six months mm. and the liquid biofertilizers uh, these are in liquid form and the shelf life is for one year okay. interesting and a longer shelf life for liquid biofertilizers makes them even more farm friendly right ma'am yes now ma'am the next question of every farmer's mind how do we actually use them now biofertilizers can be applied in field in three ways yes. first is seed treatment mm. second is settling root dipping and third one is soil application. Ma'am, could you please explain how biofertilizers can be used in seed treatment and also make our viewers understand the process better? Okay, uh, seed treatment is the uh, one of the effective methods of applying biofertilizer. Uh, for this, a slurry has to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Now, for preparing slurry, we need uh, 400 to 500 ml of water, which has to be mixed with 200 gram of bioinoculants, that is biofertilizer. For seed treatment, there are certain procedures we have to follow. First is uh, we have to boil 50 gram of gur in one liter of water 
uh, we, then after boiling we have to cool it down then uh, this already prepared slurry mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, in water and bio inoculant mm. already mixed that we have to pour it on the heap of the seeds after uh, pouring we have to mix everything with gur and with the slurry of inoculants and we have to dry this mixture this coated mixture in under the sheet after drying uh, we have to sow these seeds the treated seeds uh, are as early as possible Great tip, especially about using gourd to prepare the slurry. Now, what about root dipping? How is it done, ma'am? Uh, root dipping is mainly used for the transplanting of uh, seedlings of vegetables yes. or paddy. Uh, we need the required quantity of bio inoculants, that is, bio fertilizers, which has to be mixed with 10 to 15 liter of water, mm -hmm. and the roots of the vegetables mm -hmm. or paddy has to be dipped in that uh, already prepared. Uh, bio inoculants mm. with water for around half an hour before transplanting. Mm. And finally, for the soil application, ma'am, what's the right method? For soil application uh, of bio fertilizers, we have to mix the required quantity of bio fertilizers, that is, like 200 grams of bio fertilizers in 400 to 600 kg of FYM and properly mix it and kept it uh, in the sheet mm -hmm. for overnight. And after this, uh, we have to maintain the 50% of moisture in it. Mm -hmm. And next day, we can start using for soil application. It's truly inspiring to see how simple steps can make such a difference in sustainable farming. Thank you, Madam Christie, for sharing all the valuable information. To all our dear viewers, remember, biofertilizers are not just about better yield. They are about caring our soil, health and future. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Thank you.